Hi, Brendan from Music Hub Hawks Bay here. Uh, what we're going to look at now is the melody part to Camp Town Races. Um, if we look at the tab there, we can see the first note, uh, or the first note we're going to play is on the third fret of the second string, okay? So we count, in the music we count from the top line, we go one, two, down to that, and then on the guitar we count from the first string to the second string. So it's kind of this upside down looking stuff, okay? Uh, you will get used to it though. Uh, it's always done like this. Okay, so what that means to me is I'm going to use my third finger, I'm thinking third finger, third fret, and I'm going to place it in the third fret of the second string, and we can see there we've got two threes, so I'm going to play two of them, just like that, if you can see that, okay, and then the next number is a zero, so that means just take your finger off and play the open string, and then it comes back to a three, so that first bar sounds like this, you can see that? In the next bar, you'll see there's a zero on the first string now. So that, all that means is we're just going to play the open first string, like that. Then it goes back to a three on the second string, then a zero on the second string as well. Okay? So I put those two together, I have this. Okay? Third bar, the doodah bit, uh, is what we're going to do here. We're going to start with an open second string, just like that. And then we we'll take a second finger and put it in the second fret area of the third string. Okay, so I'll put those two notes together, it sounds like this. Okay, now the fourth bar is exactly the same. Okay, that's our two uh, doodah bits. Uh, we'll go to the second line, first bar of the second line. Um, it starts off, well, those first two bars of the second line are exactly the same as the first line, so they will sound like this. It's exactly the same there. Well, it is exactly the same. Um, now, the next bar, the third bar of the second line, starts on the second fret of the third string, so I'm going to use our second finger there. Then it hold that for two beats, then we're going to go down to the open B string, or the second string, play that open, back to the second fret of the third string, and then finally for the last bar, we're going to hold this one for four beats. We're just going to play an open string, third, so two, three, four. We just hold it like that, okay? Now, the third line um, starts off with all open strings, so what we're going to do here, starting on the third string, we're just going to play that twice, then we go to the open second string, then we come to the third fret of the second string, so I'm going to use my third finger, and then it goes, we're just going to move that finger down to play the third fret of the first string. Again, hold that for four beats. Uh, the third bar of the third line is, starts off with two open uh, first strings to a third uh, fret again of of the first string, back to an open string, and then the final bar of the third line, the fourth one. We're going to hold this for four beats. Is back to the third fret of the second string, two, three, four, and the last line, the fourth line, is exactly uh, like the second line. So I'll just play that through so you can hear what it sounds like. So what I'll do now is I'll just play through the whole thing, um, just so you get a fair idea of how, how this goes, and don't be afraid to start off nice and slowly, okay? You don't have to play it as fast as I am straight away. It will take a little bit of time to get those notes working, okay? And always remember, when you play notes, again, just like chords, try and get right behind the fret wire, because if I'm back here, I'm going to get that sort of thing, and I have to squeeze really, really hard to get that note to come out. But if I just slide up a little bit, I get a much better sounding note, okay? Okay, here we go. Just going to play through the whole thing now. There 
There we go, that's what it all sounds like. Have a little go at that. Uh, if you've got a friend with you that's playing guitar as well, have one of you play the chords, one of you guys play the melody, and then swap around. You'll have a lot of fun with that one. Um, and good luck, thank you very much.